All right. Hello everyone and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Arma versus P10. This game taking place here on Terranistan. Arma spawning Kazakhstan versus Belarus. Beirut? Um, I don't know the capital of Kazakhstan. Or Kaza I, I'm assuming that's Kazakhstan. Is that correctly? Anyways, Ka is it Kaz Kazakhstan? stand versus belarus anyways it is where borat lives all right arma sitting over here on the top left hand side of the map um, as the blue orc meanwhile in the bottom right hand corner p10 spawning as the well purple orc this is an orc versus orc mirror match as we are looking at an altar of storms burrow voodoo lounge opening up from p10 meanwhile well a little bit of a different scenario coming in from arma we are looking at altar of storms burrow and a barracks who what is going to be chosen and arma is in fact going for shadow hunter first shadow hunter first versus blade master i was expecting blade master or farseer based on the timing of this voodoo lounge it looks as though the blade master may try and do a little bit of harassment uh, or a little bit of creeping and then pick up a bunch of items from the voodoo lounge to try and harass meanwhile the shadow hunter looks as though he's gonna be using lightning shield creeping tactics against this mercenary camp here to try and get to level two kazakhstan and kazakhstan Ka wait is, is it new Kazakhstan. Borat is from the first one with an I. Ah. Really? All right. I am so confused right now. Anyways, a peon and now getting damage onto that voodoo lounge, hoping to aggro that voodoo lounge here. But the creeps are really not changing any direction. And now finally going after the voodoo lounge. Arma going to be in a bit of trouble being forced to cancel. Oh, does he cancel the voodoo lounge? Yes, he does. Peon now trying to back away, but a lot of precious time was lost. Shadow Hunter actually going in an opposite direction than I thought he was going to go. Going off to the north here, going after the Kobold Tunneler creep camp instead of that mercenary camp. Serpent Ward is going to be doing a lot of poking during this time. Meanwhile, the Blade Master is going to run all the way over here and find that, well, there's nothing here for him to creep. P10 a bit confused now, as, as am I, as a new Voodoo Lounge is being placed down. All right, P10 trying to play a game of hide and seek, and Arma is just basically saying, what do you mean I can't hide in, in the school next door? And that's exactly what's happening. Um, Blade Master just running around the map so far, having used two wind walks to try and find where this Shadow Hunter and this Grunt is. Blade Master now finally going after the Shadow Hunter here. Serpent Ward's going to get some damage perhaps on that Blade Master. No hex there at all. Shadow Hunter taking a little bit of damage from, well, that, um, a, well, is that poison, that damage over time as it tries to head back up off to the north. Kazakhstan. All right. Uh, my lack of understanding in European geography has failed me. But then again, uh, I took European geography in seventh grade. And I think, uh, if I remember correctly, the US, uh, USSR did not really disband until, or disbanded when I was in eighth grade. Or uh, all the countries were not fully established yet. Anyway, Staff of Teleportation, Blade Master going to look to finish off the Shadow Hunter, and wow, down to 17 hit points and ends up surviving. All right, coming back here, the Blade Master looking for that Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter not being followed. Uh, yeah, well, the creeps are just um, well all over the place right now. Double Serpent Wards. Um, Shadow Hunter, weird choice. Normally, Shadow Hunter is used to do a lightning shield creep against the mercenary camp. You're able to get to level two extremely quickly, but Arma, after seeing that he was scouted out very, very early, didn't want to deal with all of this harassment, and now gets to level two on the Shadow Hunter, and he's gonna go ahead. Well, he has to healing wave himself now. Come on, come on, do it. Wait, what is he doing? He's gonna scroll of town. All right, he's in a scroll of town portal, head back home, use the healing salve, and and to heal up. Hmm. Uh, our, our Arma feels, the way Arma's playing, it feels like he, he got caught 
um, unaware and, and now is playing very defensively and um, using scroll of town portal yeah he didn't want to risk losing a grunt or a shadow hunter he could have tried to use healing wave to heal back up and then walk and that would have saved him that 350 go uh, 50 gold as well and, yeah well he has he has healing wave right so you use healing wave and and then a couple of times and you hope that you you know you you pray that that works out but then again blade master is only at level one and well with only level one blade master and what trying to just get mana on that blade master is often difficult in and of itself all right grunt gonna go ahead and head back here claws of attack plus five blade master gonna be joining in on the battle a little bit of poke coming back a long way as the grunts are joining in this is this is a very messy game and what as we now look at Pit Lord. <laughs> All right. Pit Lord as a second hero. All right. Uh, Pit Lord. I um, wasn't expecting Pit Lord, to be honest. I know Pit Lord is common here on Terranistan. I just had forgotten about it. Shadow Hunter first, uh, Pit Lord second. Um, is, is often used. Grunt now trying to head back and head away. And a little, very, very smart walking pathing by that Grunt in order to stay alive. And that Blade Master is still sitting at level 1 all after all this time. We are at Stronghold. Shadow Hunter is coming out. We are going into a Bestiary and a Torin Totem as well. As this one Grunt is going to try and, well, Healing Wave buying a little bit more time to stay alive at 138 hit points. And that Grunt, well, perhaps running into his death if he tries to go over there now. All right, Pit Lord in that front line spot here. Serpent Ward's being thrown in the back. Uh, Shadow Hunter and Pit Lord not really going to be dealing that much damage. Shadow Hunter should give the Claws of Attack over to the Pit Lord. I mean, that seems like an obvious. If your Pit Lord does have um, well, does have um, cleave to give the bonus damage to the Pit Lord, and that's exactly what we're seeing here: a Pit Lord with gloves of haste and claws of attack that can become rather scary. Okay, so Arma opening up with some with some curious moves D doesn't quite go for strategies that I would normally expect, but now he is taking um, a, a decent size experience lead, level two on the Shadow Hunter, um, level one still on that Pit Lord, but you know these level one, level two engagements easily get to level three, level four in just a matter of time. But the Pit Lord having very good items here should be able to make something happen. Blade Master now coming back down to the south here does have a clarity potion should have been attacked you don't want to allow that blade master to have so much mana where he's able to um, well play the game he typically wants to play all right in comes the blade master now blade master going back and forth we're looking at a well grunt trying to get away grunt down to six hit points healing wave bouncing around grunt should be backing away again once again down to 64 hit points blade master getting body blocked he's trying to run away once more doesn't want to stick around in this fight Blade Master is going to try and steal a last bit of experience. No, only at level one, even with a circlet of nobility and gauntlets of ogre strength plus three, doesn't have the survivability he needs. Pit Lord continuing to fight his way out of this paper bag scenario, slicing and dicing, taking down some Sasquatches, um, but still no level two as an expansion attempt should be, or clearing of the expansion should be next. Shadow Hunter already at level two. Blade Master could get there as well. Cobalt Taskmaster um, does give a decent amount of experience. I believe it will get there. Yep, getting up to level two right now. Coming back down here, we're looking at the Shadow Hunter finishing off more of these units. Pit Lord will get to level two here. Shadow Hunter also wants to get to level three. Level two Healing Wave and level two Serpent Wards, both very effective as we're well, coming back across here and getting more Claws of Attack. The Pit Lord is already at plus 19 damage at level two. Our, I was not expecting such high damage coming in from a pit lord he has a fast attack speed as well and that is gonna well really change things up meanwhile we're looking at raiders joining in on the battle did someone say bloodlusted wyverns okay war mill there's a beast area i don't even see shaman yeah um the the spirit lodge so i don't know what they're uh, talking about with bloodlusted bloodlusted wind riders um can't say wyverns this is the wrong game and oh Raider getting stuck between two burrows, unable to break free right there. A little bit of a misstep as the, a new Raider is kind of well already running on out. 
back inside here. Blade Master looking to finish off. There it goes. Shadow Hunter sitting up at level three. Blade Master should be just behind it as well. Needs to get some healing salves as the units will be retreating back. Armin is in a good position here. If it can get up to level three, level two cleave, or yeah, level two cleave is gonna be a key to getting in a lot of damage across those units early on. Shadow Hunter now gonna be coming in and reinforcing as well as we are looking at a potion of greater mana being picked up by that Pit Lord. All right, what other items are gonna be picked up and dropped back down? Gloves of Haste, Wanda Mana Stealing dropped right there. Gloves of Haste. Um, is it going to be picked up by the Shadow Hunter? No, it's not. Not enough items anywhere. Item spots. There's the Clarity Potion. Pick up the Gloves of Haste. You know you want it. Oh, there you go. All right, doing a little bit of uh, well, well, hand transferring items going back and forth. Dust of Appearance going on to the Shadow Wait, hold on. What items are they? Oh, Wanda Mana Stealing given to the Shadow Hunter as well to try and keep that uh, Pit Lord alive. Interesting call here. The Pit Lord is actually being played very similarly to a Blade Master. This strategy, Shadow Hunter keeping the main DPS dealer alive and then loading a bunch of consumable mana items on that Shadow Hunter here. One Raider or one Peon gonna get taken down here easily. Sp uh, Spirit Walkers now with Spirit Link, Kodo Beast in the back for a little bit more damage and Raiders trying to take down some of these here as well. The uh, Pit Lord at plus 23 damage. Spirit Link getting cast across multiple units as the Torrin Totem is gonna fall. Gold, is there any sign? No sign of pillage at this point as the peon should be trying to well, do some repairs or have something else happen. All right, building after building, getting lost. Serpent Wards getting thrown down. Is it level two? Yeah, level two Serpent Wards as we are now going into um, well, Scroll of Town Portal back. We are we have spiked barricades or onto the buildings of P10, reflecting back some of that damage from any melee unit. One burrow, what burrow was lost right there. Serpent wards will get finished off. Down both of them go as we are rebuilding up that voodoo lounge. Poor raider, how yeah, he'll be made into a pee on that. It's an upper management issue. <laughs> yeah, upper management. Hey, hey, you you told me to leave this door, but you surrounded me in buildings that I can't get out of. Hmm. It's like, well, you should have thought of that before you used that exit. Uh huh. Really? <clears throat> level three, level three. Shadow Hunter coming back across here. Serpent Ward's gonna well focus down a Voodoo Lounge pretty easily. No ensnares as of yet. Units, Blade Master already so off on the other that. side of the map. Scroll of Town Portal is available. Are we getting? Um, I, I would assume if you're doing hit and run tactics with raiders like this, you would want to have pillage, but we just don't see that coming across from the opponent here. Meanwhile, and what's actually a little bit odd is fortified barricades or reinforced defenses on the burrows actually cause them to take more damage when your opponent has raiders. So if your opponent has mass raiders, it turns into a, a, a very difficult, strange spot as ensnares are now going across here. Perhaps the pit lord should actually be attacking from this location here, allowing a bit of uh, allowing a bit of that cleave splash damage to happen. P10 gonna lose his um, stronghold if he's not careful. Down to 95, down to 105 here. Oh my gosh, not able to finish it off. Mash repairs underway as we're looking at the attack back on the other side here. Howl of Terror, no repairs on this stronghold. No, only one peon repairing left. The Raiders are trying to get in position. A bunch of ensnares going down as it looks like Arma may end up losing. Wait, is it gonna end up happening? Stronghold, there it goes. And wow. What a, a flip of events right there. P10 able to take down Arma's stronghold. Meanwhile, um, well, if that Pit Lord had just moved and rotated down to the south side here with that cleave, he could have been taking out peons while taking down the stronghold, and that could have been possibly enough. Uh, all right, no more mining whatsoever. Arma also not having pillage. Um, is he going to try to go in for an all-in attempt at this point? 39 supply. There is a bit of gold available. A grunt is slowly being digested. Um, 38 army, 38 supply army compared to 31. There's only one worker left for Arma. And I don't even know where... Oh, the one worker is nope, nowhere to be seen. Oh, one worker sitting off over here looking like he wants to set up an expansion. Multiple watchtowers now being trying to be placed down. Serpent wards 
should really be well attacking those watchtowers here as they're under construction they are very very vulnerable to attack grunts now coming in as well as we're looking at that lone peon off over here once more the pit lord is not in the back side one watchtower down to 130 some odd hit points with repairs underway peons getting taken out as well triple serpent wards are down kodo beast is going to finish digesting here in just a second and this is going to turn into a base race scenario pit lord trying to finish things off here serpent wards are now going after a couple of those peons they could get taken out pretty quickly as well as peon after peon could end up getting lost and now no one has any any gold mines all right so returning the favor right there peon after peon getting lost as well and we are now looking at a 34 supply army or 28 supply army compared to 38 but p10 does have the ability to rebuild up a town hall and he already has one as this great hall is up all right coming back to the other side how is he gonna try and uh, well reinforce here um arma and the shadow hunter both of these with staff of teleportations able to make their way back out across here shadow hunter trying to finish off some of those units as the army is now going after this great hall off to the side here all right, looking at the units, continuing to engage. Blade Master Shadow Hunter could be in trouble. Wanda Mana Stealing being used. Healing Wave bouncing around. Does have a scroll of healing as well. No Voodoo Lounge here. There goes another Ensnare. Shadow Hunter down to 175 hit points. There goes a Hex. Did use the scroll of healing in time. But the Pit Lord, well, what is going on here? The Pit Lord is just racking up the kills. The Pit Lord with crazy, terrible damage. Now almost sitting at level 5. Uh in that attempt to try and take down the shadow hunter i don't believe p10 realized that that pit lord's damage was going to be as high as it was plus 19 damage with the gloves of haste and yeah that pit lord was just making things just fall over so so quickly and now what is going on here uh, well great hall is being built slowly but surely p10 should be able to bounce back into this game shadow hunter currently out out for the count are we gonna try and resurrect the hero at the tavern get some gold somewhere i don't know all right 33 supply compared to 10 and that is straight up army versus nothing shadow hunter looking to get gold any way it can by taking down creeps blade master trying to get a gauge of the situation by running around the map gear and well pit lord is it just gonna run on try and and carry this game by himself the army is the army only a shadow hunter and a blade master I believe that is the case. Only a Shadow Hunter and a Blade Master. Blade Master could run off on the inside, take down, yes, <clears throat> take down that unit there. Now going after the Kodo Beast. Blade Master is absorbing quite a bit of damage. Spirit Link, well, spreading out that damage across multiple units, making it difficult as another Grunt will end up finally getting taken down as the Blade Master trying to finish off more units. Meanwhile, down to the south here, Shadow Hunter, there's the reveal. Pit Lord taking quite a bit of damage. Has enough gold. Is he going to be able to Shadow Melt again? No, Pit Lord now sitting at level 5 as we're rushing on into the scenario. Great Hall could end up getting taken down here. No Serpent Wards. And I believe all of the Blade units in the back. Nope. There's back. still a Kodo Beast and a Spirit Walker here as the units are still trying to fight. These units perhaps going to try and use Natural Regeneration for the win as the Great Hall is most likely going to end up getting cancelled. If it gets cancelled, well, there's not going to be enough gold to rebuild it. P10. Was, was, it, was it destroyed? Oh, that was canceled only 132 gold what where did the rest of the gold go though oh that is yeah pit lord stacked with um pit lord stacked with whole a whole bunch of items here um no longer having the any more reveal pit lord what is he gonna try and do howl of terror could make a big difference in that blade master and well we are in a, a bit of a standoff scenario. Raider, is he going to try and get an ensnare off? Raider trying to run away. Blade Master doesn't have the mana to catch up. What is going on here? Raider needs to run back. And the Pit Lord is just constantly... Come on, Arma. What are you doing? <laughs> Arma, you cannot allow that Pit Lord or that Raider to fall. Every unit matters so, so much. As we're looking at the, at the Blade Master, now try and retreat back once more. The spiked barricades may be the death of the army here. We are looking at only, what, seven workers. Are they in the burrows? Yes, they are in the burrows. And 
yeah, this is this is a strange spot to be in. Blade Master trying to engage here. There goes an ensnare. Raider, Blade Master, Raider needs to keep its distance. It is now down to five hit points because of that spirit link. Blade Master really wants to target it. And the Blade Master is now back up to 75 mana. Should be going for a wind walk here. And I know what he's gonna attack. All right, Raider about to get taken down. There it goes as it now tries to retreat back once more. Um, no heal, nothing of that nature. And we are now at a 12, well, one Blade Master versus one Pit Lord scenario. All right. Pit Lord has more Orc friends than the Blade Master does at this stage. Two Spirit Walkers. Oh, the Spirit Walkers could actually go into the Ethereal form and then just try and hide out there. Meanwhile, off to the north here, a Kodo Beast. What is going on? Kodo Beast, it needs to get some Spirit Link. There it is, able to absorb a bit more damage again. And with no healing salves, what is the what is this to really do here? Blade Master now trying to back away again. Orc should bring his units with you know, blue has no more units. Oh wait, <gasps> another raider is being trained. All right, new raider being traded or trained up. It looks as though the altar of storms is just gonna be taking ranged damage, and that's what well the spiked barricades do not reflect back. Um, ranged damage, obviously, but then again, the majority of the damage shouldn't be coming in from that Pit Lord here. It looks as though the Claws of Attack plus 9 was sold in order to make way for another Raider, which is perhaps the right call in this scenario. Blade Master now just running around the map trying to get a gauge of the situation. All right, Orc Burrows, well, finishing off building after building here. Pit Lord, if it actually, re if it could actually retrain to or to Reign of Fire, since it is at level five, right? Like finish off these buildings here and then Reign of Fire right here. That would absolutely be hilarious um, as well. A Pit Lord um, regenerating a good amount of hit points. Yeah, if it sells the Claws of Attack, Gloves of Ahes, Staff of Teleportation. Um, that may actually work out well. Um, this is just turning into a late game base scenario. Raider going to continue to run around here. I, I think, yeah, I think that could actually, actually work. Also, taking down a couple of creeps would help as well, but that's a dangerous proposition at this um, time in the game. Players forces are under attack. Yeah, the strangest trap position. All right, Blade Master looking to get to level five, clearing out some apprentice wizards as well, getting in a little bit more gold. Peons off to the side. Thank you for the sub subscription. Definitely helps out with the cast as we're still getting underway here. BM, is, well, is he is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Is he is he is? I called it. Oh, rain of fire and cleave. Rain of Fire coming across there. There's going to be some Spirit Link. Um, now is going to, well, uh, trying to figure out where where the range is. And now make its way off to the side here. Go off to the north there. There's that Rain of Fire getting in damage. Well, it really should have just tried to absorb that damage and have Spirit Link as well. Now what's coming back? Shadow Hunter is back out onto the battlefield. Uh, the timing is of this is going to be huge. Spirit Link, just go for it. You need to make a move as Rain of Fire you take down multiple buildings. Arma, if you lose this game, it's going to be because you're not willing to commit to actually dealing triple the amount of damage by these buildings. Shadow Hunter is back out onto the battlefield. It's still going to sell some items, perhaps a little bit of hex as well. What is going on here? Kodo Beast is going to be in trouble. And here we are into the engagement. All right, Spearling trying to heal back up once more. Grunt needs to back away. There's a reveal. Are we going to see an ensnare? Yes, ensnare onto the Blade Master. Blade Master temporary field as it now backs away again. All right, pit, oh, this grunt needs to stand a little bit closer. Um, the pit lord really just needs to, yeah, you really needed to use your reign of fire on all of the buildings, multiple buildings at a time. That's what ne needed to be done earlier. You can see how much damage is being done now with that reign of fire. Two reign of fires uh, should have been enough to finish all of those buildings here and then doing it again and again. All right, coming back around, Blade Master, well, getting healed back up once more. All these buildings are going to be lost, and now those peons are going to be in a little bit of trouble, taking a little bit of damage again. Are we going to see some repairs? Well, that seems like a very bad idea. Come on, peon, what are you thinking? Peon are uh, getting in some slice and dice damage again. There goes another um, building here, and I think it's just going to be a matter of time. Pit Lord, however, currently low on mana, not able to do anything as of yet. 
All right. Blade Master Shadow Hunter not going to be able to engage. What is going on here? Up oh, a little bit of range damage. Can the Kodo Beast actually engage? Or the Spirit Walker uh, Kodo Beast may actually be able to engage here. The Burrow should not be able to attack back. Um, but the Spirit Walker can't attack this War Mill. All right, a little bit of attacking going on here. And this is just constantly trying to get zoned out. All right. Um, at the helm, what's going on here? All right, in comes the Rain of Fire. In comes that damage. One Peon now lost. Damage adding up onto those War Mills. A little bit out of mana. Once again, we're going to be seeing a bit of an engagement. Blade Master going after the Kodo Beast. Level 4 now onto the Shadow Hunter. Kodo Beast could end up getting taken down. A lot of damage being absorbed there. There goes the Ensnare. Shadow Hunter trying to fight back. Kodo Beast is there as well. There is a reveal. Now damage onto the Kodo Beast. Kodo Beast going to get taken down. It gets taken down as the remaining units are trying to retreat back out. Pit Lord is right here waiting to get a little bit more mana again. Um, well, the Spirit Walkers, this is such a crazy spot to be in. Every bit of gold matters, and the Orc Burrow, really the only defense P10, should really be trying to repair this Orc Burrow as another Reign of Fire could take it down. All right, a little bit of a standoff scenario here. Who's going to come out on top? couple of buildings left behind here we're going to be going into an engagement are we going to see an ensnare ensnare onto any of those units spirit link a lot of hit points to try and chase down are we going to see an ensnare no no ensnare pit lord trying to chase back now going to well run back over do we see a hex here no we don't what is going on in this battle as we see a wind walk now trying to go after that raider all right, Pit Lord now trying to run back down to the south. Could go after these, attack. go after the peons here. No, joining after the Blade Master. There seems to be indecision across the board, and not having access to any sort of healing is a very big deal. Uh, well, the the witch or the Shadow Hunter not having the proper um, healing wave there is the, the big deal. And P10, if he had tried to repair earlier, would have been in a much better spot. Loses the Orc Burrow. A couple more buildings. Loses the peons, and now Spirit Walkers are. What are they doing? Spirit walkers are just hanging off over here. He was not in the ethereal form. Why not? He he was completely immune from all damage. There goes a hex onto the onto the um, onto the pit lord now. Pit lord trying to retreat back. Now going to go ahead and staff of teleportation away down to 161 hit points. Eight army, eight supply army compared to ten peons. Finally thinking to themselves, you know what? Maybe I should have repaired this war mail. And it was timing. If Arma, if Arma had, um, well, used, I think Arma had this game. Um, he he realized the strategy that he needed to use. He was a little bit passive in executing it, and because of that, the the he gave his opponent too much time, and that's all his opponent needed time to get back into this game. All right, that is the game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening here. Let's see what the final score was. Yeah, Shadow Hunter getting lost, a very big deal, not having access to healing. But overall, Arma did transition into the strategy that I thought he should have done. Um, not using, not getting the Spirit Walker into the ethereal realm, also a bit of trouble. But ultimately, losing that Shadow Hunter early on, not having access to healing became um, the slow, slow bleed that allowed um, P10 to get back in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.